Hello everybody and welcome to the live stream for Saturday. So this week I got updated drivers. So I'm actually eager to test them out. I'm not exactly certain how much we got that is going to be dedicated to the performance. However, it will be interesting to actually see. So I do want to test out some battling. And they also wanted you to make some changes. So I made some settings changes. I'm going to just sit here for just a little bit. Not sure if an army will head this way. And it's a thousand person army. Up to 900. Oh, they got 900 in here. Alright, there's an 800 army. Uh, almost time. Somebody just took off, and I got another guy. There we go. There's another person. Got a nice battle. The Empire. Something else declared war. Ah, uh, we're not going to be able to do it. Damn, this sucks. All right, here we go. Boom, all right. Nice. That's what I'm looking for. Nineteen hundred versus fourteen hundred, so three. 3,341 battle. Oh, that is just great, great. Um, it shows I mainly have the advantage, which is funny. I got 500 more troops than me, yet I have the advantage. So we'll test out and see how these graphics go. Um, let us, we can work this ridge here. Soldier, 
Cavalry! Forward! Infantry! That's a little better. They're going to be able to see those guys, those guys will easily, but them way up there might not have had a good chance. So it should be heading our way. Looks like they are just really slowly. Yep, they are coming in. So I actually need to stand back from this. Headshot. Headshot from 126 meters away. But my guys should be able to take care of one guys. Sooner we can get these guys taken care of. And they'll go for those archers. There they go. They'll go take out the archers and then we will regroup. That went really, really good. Why are there people out there? I told them to come back. I told them three times.
Goodbye. Took care of him. Now they're gonna get torqued by my archers again. Unfortunately, this character, like on my horse archer playthrough, is from the previous version where I did start at 30 years old. So let's hope we don't run into the same situation as there, because I have not set up my little brother or little sister to take over as leader. So let us hope we do not run into that problem. Damn it. Tried to get back. Look at him charging in. That looks like a pretty successful test of a video card. If I do say so myself. And I do. Look at all that freaking red. Here we go again. Freaking AI. That should be it for the reinforcements. That's all they should have. I lost 300 though. 370 dead it looks like. So I lost a lot but the only pausing that I really thought I saw was when they were getting reinforcements. So that went extremely well.
nine renown. Is that not a joke? I'm outnumbered like, what was it, 1400 to 1900. And I get nine renown for that battle? Like, are you serious? But the test went really, really well. Uh, well we can take. It's not even gonna work. Yeah, that went really well with a 900 battle size. They want to make peace with the Western Empire. So we're going to leave the siege. So, Landia declared war on us, however, I don't really care about that. I want to go check out the, the Kuzite. guys back together. These are all down to 30, 40, probably even no troops left. Now it's probably also a bad idea to let everybody go here. Because that way they're going to take all my damn food. Once again, everything's burned to the ground. And what? Alright, so that was one of my kids or um, family members that gained them. I have a feeling that army is going to run over there, so they're going to take everything. Still doing good. Only four hundred. Uh, we can go check some things out here. Oh, they own a lot of her 
African territory. What do I want to do? The heavy 500 troops. Um, wow, they got like no defenders here. All they really have is militia. I still wish I didn't have as many pauses as I did. I want to go back trying it this way again. I've been trying it both ways, building the weapons first and then the siege equipment next. So I've been trying it both ways, but I have a very big suspicion that we're going to see a big army coming our way. So that is one thing I am a little concerned with. They normally get those guys following you and then they get some huge freaking army. Watching for that army. <sighs> They're about ready to attack. Yeah, they got decisive advantage. Oh, gee, gee. Yeah, I don't. I, oh, I don't know about this. What I really need to do is back it up. I don't really want to do that. Form a 
Damn cavalry. This is why I can't stand. They chased the guy down. All the circuits, all those calves. Okay, that was nice. So this battle's over. This battle's completely done. Oh, that was a waste. Damn it. I was really hoping I could have outlasted them, but without me, they have no chance. They're gone. So now I gotta figure out what I wanna do. Uh, Cause I am not spending the next hour 
recuperating from the battle. Um, what do I want to do? I don't know if I want to just... I'm pretty happy with the graphics. I'm not a hundred percent. This is still one of the worst things in the world. When you get released from here, it's so funny. You're like standing here and you got to make it out of here alive. I got captured like four times, lost three million the last time. So, um, what do I want to do? Well, I'll make peace, that'll instantly do it. That sets me free. But. Oh, it'll take so long to recoup all this stuff now. Now, what? I just gotta think what I wanna do. I don't know if I wanna work on my new series. That, I don't know if I wanna do. I didn't really have a backup plan. I should have put the battle size down to 800 and tested it. I think that was my problem. I immediately just went to 900 and hoping to hit 1,000, which is really stupid. I would like to have tested it with 900, well, with 800, and I didn't do that. Huh. I mean, I could work on the new series. I like to work on it for about three or four hours at a time. Although the live stream isn't really the greatest place to do it. I think I want to bump it up to a thousand and try it. I forgot about it. Damn it. I totally forgot about that. When you adjust it, you take a chance on the game crashing. When you adjust your settings. Totally forgot. Tim. No. I want to test a, a thousand battle size and see how the graphics perform.
I was going to work on my new series, but I don't want to... Because I actually put up the live stream on the channel. But then I don't really want to put up the live stream of the new series so then people see it in progress without watching the first episode, so... That kind of doesn't make sense. So I got the thousand. I had this saved right at a big battle. It's it's perfectly saved right at it, so it gives me the chance to test out graphics. So that's why I have this save. So this is a thousand battle size. So on a lonely i5 with a 660 video card, while streaming, recording, with two additional windows plus Twitch open, is what I'm running all on this one system. And just think what would happen if I didn't have all those other things running at the same time. That's why I think it's a pretty good setting. And are we doing anything or are we just standing around? You gotta be absolutely kidding me. Are you guys coming in or not? Are they just gonna stand there again? Oh, uh, sometimes I hate Tail World. So, here's what Tail World... Are they coming in or not? I don't... I don't think they are. So, their idea is the AI will stand there. And then you stand there. So Tail World is forcing you to attack. They're forcing you to do it. Because if you don't do it, they won't do it, and you're just going to sit here for 20 million years. How does that make any sense whatsoever? I cannot see how far away they are. It's all white. It only looks like a hundred meters. Are you guys kidding me? That looks like them right there. Wait, how am I not hitting them? I mean, that's them.
So yeah, that that's the kind of stuff that really upsets me. Is they don't think about this stuff. They are forcing you to attack. Is what they're doing. Because if not, you'll let the game sit for 10 hours doing nothing. So what other option is there to do? And here come my infantry nice and slow. And I pause. I not like that 900. I think we are good on 800. Yeah. I don't think it likes 1,000.
think I got hit 12 times in a row. Look at them all. And the problem is, is, like I said, I'm fighting on their terms. I had to go to them to fight. And that's the biggest deal. all they had was 288 left. Yeah. Oh no, I actually won. Oh, wow. I had 288 left. That's pretty shocking. But yeah, I don't think it likes a thousand battle size. I think 800 runs incredibly smooth. 900 starts to get a little choppy. So I think that's where we had the grab set at. Yeah. Hey, Tony. Just messing around, not sure what I really want to do. And uh, if you leave the battlefield, I think it's still forces you to go back to that decision menu if that's what you were talking about it would still force you to do it yeah I'm just kind of messing around not really sure what I want to do I was on the other um, one that we had been running and I took a really outnumbered battle and I'm just uh, it's probably going to crash again on me just to let you know I've been messing around with the graphics because I had an update to my drivers, so I was just kind of messing around with things, and I think 800 battle size is amazing, 900 pushes it, and 1,000 is just too much, but I think for my graphics, it's not a bad idea. And we crashed. Like I said, ay, ay, ay. it's already my second time doing it. Uh, now it looks like it does not want to does not want to go back to the desktop now. You know, so the game crashed hard this time. Oh, now we got control alt delete. Ay, 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 ay. I did start a new series. I will talk about that. Not sure when I'll put it up. Just barely begun it. But writing out another message to Tail World about this crash that needs to get fixed.
finally I can load up the game. No, we don't want save mode. I don't think I even mentioned that crash. I can't remember if I mentioned that in a video. I don't know how many other people are getting it, but man, that sucks. So I think I want to run that battle again, but I want to test 800. But man, I just, man, that just makes me angry when you got to sit there and you got to move to them. Because you, I mean, I guess I could get out of the battle and, but I don't think it lets you out of the battle. I think it'll put it, you right back. I think it will put you at the menu. I got to check that. But I want the battle. That's just it. You know, I, I want to take that battle. Where is it? Oh, look at all these saves. I thought the grouping of the saves was going to be a little bit more hands-on. Where it was going to allow you to group saves. You could actually move them. How you move troops in your, in your, you know, out of here. I thought it would allow you to move them, but it doesn't, so that really sucks. Okay, so this is an 800 battle. So, this should actually run extremely smooth. Okay. It's just like how um, my, I cannot take screenshots with Steam. I can't do it. Because I have a GeForce overlay that is running. So I have a feeling they're going to do the exact same thing. But we're going to set up just in case I don't have that happen. Well, they're going to sit there probably. So, uh, um, I can't actually take them like that. I haven't looked to see if to disable the overlay or probably even want to disable it. I don't need to because I can take a screenshot. It's just not as easy to do. Oh, let's see. Nah, they're just going to sit there. I don't know what's going on with Tail World, but man, they gotta get on the ball. I don't know what's up with them. I mean, one patch in 10 days? I should say one hot mix in 10 days? Really? That is really freaking depressing to think about. With everything that's going on, and I finally got them to respond to me about three issues, three separate issues I posted. One was the focus point. And that was the funniest thing in the world. Came back to me and they couldn't understand what I was saying. Can you post a screenshot? And I'm like, seriously? I know we have a language barrier here, but how can you not understand that a focus point gives 40 points to a skill? And in your screen, it is only showing 30 points. I don't know how more clear I could be. And I don't want to sit there and treat him like a two-year-old. But, I mean, that's about as clear-cut as you can make it. Seriously. I, I don't know how, how, how better I could have explained it. Okay, 
Let's try this again. All right, this is battle size 800. Let's see how many pauses we get on this one. I'm just going to stand back this time and let them do their work. There's a pause, but I think that's reinforcement. <laughs> Let's see how much pausing we get. There's a pause. No, actually I should... Uh, I didn't want to do that. I should run into here and see what happens. How much pause do I get running through here? Yeah, there's a pause. There's one. But I really think that's all reinforcements is what that is. So are they look good. And look how smooth it is. I think except for the reinforcements coming in, I think it looks absolutely smooth. That's all that is, is just reinforcements. I don't know how many reinforcements they send at a time, but I'm guessing that's all it is, so I'm I'm pretty happy with the graphics. I don't know how much the new driver played into it. I got the mount. She's got to be kidding me. I hit him. I just didn't do anything to him. I got you. So, the new series I'm working on is based off of Cunning. So, it, it's going to be trying a lot of cab and hunting down caravans to see how much loot they give so there's going to be a lot based on that we got a little too far out there
So I started it. However, it's not going to be like a typical series that I'm doing. It's not that at all. Because I don't want to run this concurrent to what I have running right now. And I got like 20 million running right now. So I don't want to deal with that. I'm, I'm gone. I mean, I'm, I'm just messing around. I'm happy with my graphics, but um, the idea is that this one will actually be edited, is what my plan is, and try to cut down about three to five hours worth of game time into an hour or less, and only show the relevant things. Okay, so that looks like all my troops. Uh, I guess it's just reinforcements. I don't know what they're all doing standing here. I don't know what happened to all my troops, unless those are the reinforcements that just took forever to get here. It's down to the nitty gritty. It's a close battle. It looks like they have the slight advantage. Horsey. I got my archers sitting here. They're just getting in a uh, shield wall. That's them right there. That's it. That's it. This is literally it. Wow. <laughs> I had 57 left. That was a, that's pretty crazy. I knew that was all they had was that little bit right there. I survived because of my archers. That's mainly what was living. Well, I think that went tremendously well. So I am pretty happy right where I had the graphics. Uh, I'm just interested to try out something new is kind of what it is. Uh, I want to see how well it actually works because there are just so many good perks in the cunning. And then I'm also curious, exactly how much roguery do you get for going after Caravan? Because obviously I've already seen that turning in uh, prisoners sucks. I mean, that's just terrible. So I haven't really tested that out.
Yeah, with the new, you know, her penalty, they're traveling at what? About 5.5 to 5.7 at most caravans are. On my new playthrough, I'm very early in the game. I'm currently running at 7 speed. And I've only got about 30 or 40 troops. And I'm running 7. I figure I'm going to push well over 5, 7.5. Because I plan on being mostly all cap. If not all cap. I, I could hit 8. Because of course I went Kuzai. So, now I'm kind of curious. As to how good that can actually be. But man, that went really well. I, I'm really happy with that. Of course... Now I'm going to get my butt kicked. Because I'm deep behind enemy lines, so it's only a matter of time before I'd end up running out of troops. But I like that. I got that save perfectly sitting right there. It's a 2,000 a person battle. I'm out, man, 2 to 1. It's just a great test when I want to run things, so I'm really happy with that. Oh, because I have 246 wounded. Three, four, seven. I'm still like 20 over. Yikes. That's because I got more wounded. Two hundred and forty six wounded. That's three hundred and thirteen. Because if I get caught now, I got a sim. Yeah, I don't know how the composition is going to be made up just yet. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I was just trying to decide something to do, and I wanted to do something different. And the problem that I have is, is I do have a lot of free time. It is one of the problems that I have. Because I only record about an hour, hour and a half a day is all I need to record. So, therefore, I do get a lot of free time. And I was running this without all these skills either. So I was looking for something to do with my free time. Wow, 
who do I have on its healer? I got the healer going. Oh, I'm the leader. That, I didn't even know what I was doing in this playthrough. This is kind of just me messing around. Which I really said, that's kind of what the live stream is. It's more just a chance to get on here, chit chat, bounce ideas, test things out. You know, it's nothing too serious. Uh, until we decide to actually make one serious. That's just kind of what it is. I'm pretty happy with where I have the graphics settings right now, though. The only thing I might want to run a test on is the texture streaming budget. I'm not sure if I want to just yet. I don't know how much of a difference that actually plays in it. Um, this is supposed to... It uses up more memory on your card. However, it's supposed to make the game smoother. So, therefore, in actuality, you want that as high as possible for the better performance, not for the better graphics. I mean, the one advantage would be to turn this down to low. I don't, man, I don't want the green. I really wanted to test it. I wanted to test another battle. Put this down to low and then test and see what a battle does. I, I should try that. I'm gonna put that down to low. And it crashed. Ah, oh, jeez, come on. Really? Oh, man, that is so annoying. So annoying. Just from my experience, moving that down to low has made the game choppier. Because you're not using that memory. So, I think that's actually the worst move that you want to do is turn that down. However, if you turn that up too high, then there's not enough memory to allocate to everything. Uh, I just want to see how it runs. I have a feeling it, it's definitely got a stab at medium or high. So now, run that battle again, but of course now we're running it on high. There's Green Quest. That's uh, another save for the devs. It's like, that's supposed to be fixed on the next hot, hot fix. Where it'll start giving relation. So... Now she definitely noticed the difference in this battle. What? I don't know. But we're going to definitely notice the difference in the graphics. Um, I don't know where's the right sweet spot to have it. Whether it's going to be medium or low, I don't know. Or I should say medium or high. Although this looks pretty damn smooth.
Come on, fellas. Wait, when I'm all this show up. Alright, so let's see what this does with the graphics. I'm going to be shocked if this runs smooth. Um, I would be overjoyed, but shocked. I mean, the graphics look pretty damn smooth right now. But we're going to go get into it. As soon as they get close, we're going in. You can see the texture clipping. Where when I back up, how stuff disappears back there. Yeah, I got that all turned on. It should start coming here any second, and then we're gonna get right into the thick of it. I wanna run as much as possible. And here they come. I thought I saw a pause right there, which that realistically tells me. Yeah, there's another pause. I, mean, I really haven't noticed a huge difference. There's a pause, and that's because of reinforcement. I don't know, it almost looks smoother. God, it's really hard to say, but... Huh. I honestly can't a hundred percent tell. I, I mean, I don't, it almost feels like this is smoother. I might have to just put it to medium for now. Just because I'm so unsure. Fighting was really good though. I, I I don't know. I guess testing this on an eight out of one thousand battle side. Now that might have been the way to go.
but to me it just it appears smoother which doesn't make any sense so it's not like it's doing a bad job. See, how they get me is I'm in where they're at, so... Their reinforcements are close and mine are super far away. This time I'm actually going to lose the battle. But, I mean, Gravix is good. But, if I do do this... Let's try to consolidate here. it up. Oh, we actually did win. Again. It was another close one. This time I only had 74 left. Wow. Take it right down to the wire, but that was some... Um, I was pretty happy with those graphics. See, now I want to test a thousand, but I know it's going to crash on me. Uh, and that sucks. Just a little... 
curious as to why texture streaming budget makes. Hmm, that's a little weird. I always thought it made it run smoother. Weird, weird, weird. Um, that's the only problem with that battle is you got to go to them. Or so there's a, a better way to actually do that. Oh, actually, I never checked if there was a leave button. I hate to do it. Boom! Crash. I want to test a thousand out. Boy, it just does not like to exit on its own. I, I definitely want to test a thousand now that we put the streaming budget to low. I say if I see um, a noticeable difference on a thousand battle size, well, I should say. If I don't really see a noticeable difference between 800 and 1,000, then that could be a pretty darn good sign that we need to leave that on low. I still have to edit out that video, though. Um, I did the first episode. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to call this series yet. Um, what do you call someone that hunts caravans? That's not a highwayman, is it? I'm trying to remember. What do you call a caravan hunter? I don't want to just call it Caravan Hunter. I did not actually look to see if I could see that on the stream, that texture overlay. I don't think you can. So now we're running. Where are you? So now we're running a thousand battle sides. And if we don't notice any difference between the internet and a thousand, then we know keeping it on low is the way to go. I think it just doesn't give the best quality. But it just didn't seem like that was it. It would seem like that's how much you were allocating. Oh, I can leave. Oh, well, that's nice to know. Alright, 
we'll attack you here. Oh, this is a better map. Which I can't be... I'm really shocked that they wouldn't come after me. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. That's called choppy. Yep. That is the difference. Unless it's just the map. But man, that was not good to start. That is not how you wanted to start it, but it could just be in the map. Now, are they going to go run and hide again? It's funny, I'm outnumbered two to one, but it seems like I have the advantage. I feel like they're just going to go freaking run and hide again in the trees. I really hate when they do that, and I, I think that's what they're going to do. Oh, they're going to go hide in the damn trees. Alright, horse archers, let's go have some fun. You're done. <laughs> That's what they do, they go hide in the damn trees. But we took out their uh, couple little horse archers. Yeah, I tried looking up a name. I tried Googling it, and I really couldn't find anything concrete. So, yeah, I mean, I want to come up with something unique, though. And I, I don't know, because I don't like to do a lot of editing of videos. So that way I could show you everything. But... You know, this is going to be something that's just completely different. This isn't a normal thing that I do. And I only estimate that I might only put out maybe one or two of these a week. Because it's just going to be something that I'm going to do in my spare time. They're going to go all the way up there. We could just get them to get a few hits and they would come after us. They're just running back and forth. Get a few hits and they'll come after you. That's a lot of arrows. Look at all those arrows and not one person goes down yet. There they come. Alright, now we can test it out. So I really thought about streaming the new series. I was like really debating on it.
Alright, let's get into the mix. That's just reinforcement. If I had to guess off the top of my head, I would say putting texture streaming budget smaller, I think would be better. I mean, that's just, it's a rough guess. I'm just really interested to try things out because when I streamed um, Path of Exile, it was about making builds. And that's, that's what you had to do. Everybody had builds to make. They did certain things. So is right now running an intelligent build or maybe a cunning build, is it just super powerful right now? So that's kind of what I'm trying to explore when I'm doing these. Or is it that running a combination of things can make you powerful? Is it not running just in intelligence or cunning, but if you were to combine roguery, scouting, and medicine, those three maxed as much as possible, is that what can make you overpowered? So that's kind of what I'm looking at in this. And you can see the difference in the battle now with an open field battle compared to the one that I had. It's utter domination. Where the other one I was winning and I had less than 100 troops, at this point, I'm probably going to have three, 400 troops left. So the map makes a huge difference. That's why I like to try to get out in the open. Whenever I try to fight a battle, I want to make sure where I'm standing is, is in the open. Just utter domination with it. So, if I had to guess, right now, I would say running texture streaming budget lower is the way to go. Which almost feels the complete opposite of how I had it. domination I still had 600 troops left I'm going to assume that that's the gravity because that was a thousand battle size. And it went smooth. I mean, I went really freaking well.
I was just kind of sitting here hoping they would get another army going. Pretty damn well. Caravan, two point five at night. Four point eight on the caravan. That's sick. I mean, I'm in a 700-man army, and I'm somewhat close to what a caravan is running? How does that make any sense? Hmm. son ready to go yeah see it's weird now see he's got all this just available I am a little bit excited to see what they're gonna do with the new one but as I said before excited but scared when they have you with your kids now I don't know if they're just gonna do it once however it would be nice if when your children are growing up you get to do some of the same options that your character does when you begin. So when they start out as a, just a real small child, then it pops up with a screen asking you, they, you know, as their childhood, they focused on this. And you would basically get to make the five choices or so that you would normally make until they hit 18. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, one bad thing is that you'd have to actually remember who's doing what. Yeah, I am. See, the weird thing is, I tried contacting three different devs, and I've heard from none of them. Like I said, I don't know what the heck is going on at Tail World right now. I have no damn clue. But the communication is is terrible. Uh, I'd have to look and see when I put those messages up for the bug report. But it was probably like two, three days ago. And I finally got a response today. No, it had to be more than that. I haven't heard from Mexico in like a, in like two weeks. So I'm not sure what's going on. But it doesn't bode well when your best devs are not contacting people. That's that's really worrisome. Where do we have to go? Oh, this is where I have Akalot and Oka. Oh no. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, that was what this one would be. I don't know what I want to do now. Huh. See, my thought was I was going to pull like a hundred cal, and caravans have normally 50 at most, and my hundred cal should be able to just absolutely demolish them, because the number one thing you can do up another, against another cal army is surround their cal, so that way they're forced into hand-to-hand. -hand. So if you tell your cal to follow you, and then you ride right into the middle of them and then tell them to attack when you get into the middle they're all just bunched up and they can't roam around and go free 
It's one of the tactics that I love using against Cav. And the only reason why I did blacksmithing is because I wanted to have a polearm. And there's no tremendous polearm. Well, maybe one decent one. But, you know, when I can make a polearm with 219 reach, 74 swing speed, 100 and what, 30 cut damage. You know, so that's the only reason why I really did blacksmithing, because I wanted to make it. I was like, now I'm trying to figure out what to do. I tested everything. I got everything right where I want it. And I still got the saved game files from when Poisson was about to die. I was going to send that to anybody that freaking wanted it. So, because I know one person was like, well, did you do, did you try this? Is it in your step? I'm like, I tried everything. The stuff is just gone. It's just a bug. You got to have the person in your group when you die, or you're going to run into that. Nothing you can do about it. So, yeah, now it's just trying to think, okay, what the heck am I going to do? Hmm. Yeah, um, I don't know what I want to do. I'm like at a loss right now. I mean, I guess I could sit here and lay siege to something, but I don't want to lay siege to that. Um, I'd lay siege to this. You want to be on that flat ground, and I guess I could just sit here and lay siege to this. Wow. 1,200 defenders. How do you get 1,200 defenders in a town? I didn't think that was possible. So I'm still bouncing ideas as to what is going to be the purpose of that playthrough. Because you got to have objectives and stuff like that. Or else, what are you really playing it for? You should just be playing a game to take over the world. But, you know, you almost really want to have some type of object objective that you're going for. Or, wow, look how slow he's going. 1.8 this caravan is going. At night. 1.8. That is crazy. Uh, here they come. All right, well, you guys are going to do that, then I'm going to do this. You know, what is my overall goal and objective into it? Is it that I'm going to be going after caravans to make money to take over the world? You know, is that how I'm going to support myself in the game? That's kind of what I'm getting at. What is my overall objective as to why I'm doing roguery? Alright. Another nice battle we got. Uh, once again, we're out number two to one, and we actually have the advantage. This is a, just a little bit to our advantage. Ten to a room. Um, what do you mean by ten to a room? 
I'm not sure what that meant. It doesn't help. This thing is probably 20 million miles behind. I say something and then a minute later you probably respond to me because of the delay. Look at this. Wow. Infantry! Move! Infantry! Loot! Infantry! Move! Foot former steel soldiers! Forward! Harder! Move! Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> well, yeah, but that doesn't make sense. How do they get 1,200? Oh! I didn't check to see if there were any lords in there. That was just total. Okay, it, well, it could have been that there were lords as well. All right, that that could have been one thing I did wrong. I I don't know if they're coming for me. Hopefully they are. Yeah, it looks like they are. I need to readjust these lines. All right, that looks better. Yep, that looks good. Except I would like to put... No, I guess we're good here. It was in a town. There was 1,200 in a town. So it was like, uh, wait a minute. You know, Garrison runs you. I doubt it can run 500. Well, yeah, and you can run, what, almost 700 in a castle, or a, in a, 700 in a garrison and 500 in a militia. So, yeah, I guess it is possible. Look at that sea of green. That's crazy. That is insane. This is going to end up being one of the most lopsided victories ever. I lost nobody in that initial volley. I took out almost 500 soldiers. And I lost no one. No dead. I always look at deaths. I don't look at total people that went down. All I care about is how many died.
two dead. And I've taken out 850 of them. This is, yeah, this is literally going to be one of the most lopsided victories in history. Because I think I was outnumbered two to one. And I might not even have ten dead. You could probably play this battle a hundred times and never have this happen. He got me good. Nice job, dude. That's it. Wow. Totally shocked. Eight dead. Total of 32 people went down to my entire army. And I took out 1,274 of them. With just 8 dead. So I think that's the graphics settings on. 476 prisoners. Oh, that's good. It'll be interesting to see what they do with charm and leadership. Um, you know, it's like, what bonus are they going to give to charm at 250 or whatever? I don't know. It would be a, a just a percentage additional relation from doing things? I, I don't know. Man, that is crazy. They virtually did nothing to me. That's a nice open field battle though. Yeah, so they got 500 in the garrison and 700 militia. That I thought would be the other way around. I didn't think you could hit 700 militia. I thought the barracks were only so big.
God, here they come again. And they got another big army. I actually don't want any more. I don't like taking low level troops because that means that they could spawn instead of the higher level troops. So let's do this again. Look at all those lords. Holy cow. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. 17 lords against me. I got the advantage this time. Whoa! Outnumbered three to one. All right, you take care, Tony. Three to one. Wow. Three thousand two hundred and eighty-four battle, and I only have seven hundred and seventy-nine troops. Oh, crap. Not the greatest map in the world. Back it up a little bit, give us some more room to fire. Because I'm going to need it. Um, I don't know how much more room I have.
trying to wait until the last minute to do it. Give those archers as much of a chance to fire as possible. in case some enemy cab get behind our lines. But now we're looking good. have time. I got the next wave coming in. back guys. We'll take some casualties but it'll be okay. Fortunately I gotta help. Not what I really wanted. This is what I was waiting for. They're cab. Goodbye, woman. Crazy. 
Come on, pull back. They got those guys way back up in there. Now they're coming in. I want them closer to me. Because I believe that's going to be their archers. Goodbye. Have a nice life. That's got is man. That's I don't think I've ever. I don't think it was fully three to one, but I don't think I've ever beaten a battle outnumbered three to one. It was close. They had twenty two hundred, and I had seven. I think seven seventy something. So three to one would be actually closer to about twenty four hundred, but it was nearly three to one. That is just. Wow. <laughs> and I, I actually did really good. That, that's kind of shocking what that right there. That ridge helped a lot, though. It took them longer to come up over that ridge, and as soon as they came up over that ridge, we just bombarded them. And we stayed as far back to the zone line as possible, so our reinforcements were immediate, and their reinforcements had to come all the way across the map. Only 153 dead. 2,123 defeated. Are you absolutely kidding me? I only get 31 renown for that. I numbered almost 3 to 1 in a over 3,000 man battle and I get 31 renown. I get more net we're taking over a castle. It was like 17 lords. No, 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 you can go, you can go, you can go, and you can go, and you can go. 729 prisoners. I think that might have to go into the biggest battles. I only got 329 guys left. And all those guys I let go free, I did not gain one point a term. Not one. I let like six guys go. That, that's a little shocking right there. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. I think I pretty much accomplished everything I wanted to accomplish. I'm not sure if I will be streaming tomorrow, but I'm going to try to get that video edited for the new series. And I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow, if not next weekend for sure. So as always, everybody take care and thanks for watching.